All right, you guys, we got a quiz coming up on Module 17 for our Integrated Math 2 classes. Let's go ahead and get started here. So you're going to be needing a scientific calculator in a couple of days. We're going to start doing this stuff called sine and cosine, so and we have a notebook quiz coming up also. Let's find the value of x. Okay, so these parallel lines means it's going to be top over bottom equals top over bottom, and then so then we set up a proportion and cross multiply, and we get uh, 27 fifths. I have to go kind of fast because the bell's going to ring. I excuse me, I apologize, you guys. Okay, so here's x. It's the whole piece. So I got to get this whole piece involved here, which is 25 right there, and then we're going to go whole over righty equals this whole over righty right there okay and then we can cross multiply with those guys and we get 30 okay sorry about the speed you guys I apologize okay are these segments parallel they are parallel at top over bottom equals top over bottom so set that up and see if they are and then cross multiply and if they're equal then yes they're parallel if they're not they're not equal so those lines are not parallel Okay, how about this? You guys can hit the pause, you guys. I just, the bell's going to ring in about three minutes. So, I'm, again, I apologize, you guys. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go lefty over whole. Does it equal lefty over the other whole right there? If it does, then when I cross multiply, I get 900 equals 900. So, yes, those lines are parallel. All right, so Jim is five feet tall, eight, uh, five feet, eight inches tall. He casts a shadow that is six feet, four inches tall long sorry at the same time a tree casts a shadow 19 feet long how tall is the tree okay we got to convert everything to inches we can't have things in different units feet and inches and then just set up some generic triangles here's Jim here's his shadow here's the tree here's the shadow and then we can set up a proportion and then cross multiply and we get 204 inches divide that by 12 gets us 17 feet okay all right again you can hit the pause feature again I apologize all right, in the figure, it says this segment right here is parallel to this segment. Let's go ahead and put those arrows in there right there. So suppose the length of PR, okay, so if they're parallel, let's get the alternate interior angles. So by alternate interior angles, the top uh, triangle and the bottom are similar. So PQR, I went from red two arcs to one blue arc to the vertical angle. So the red to blue to the vertical, TSR, okay? And then uh, put the lengths in there. So I'm gonna go top over bottom equals top over bottom, cross multiply, and we get about 67.5 meters, okay? That's, that's the length of that. Again, I apologize for that. Write a similarity statement. You have to draw these triangles separately, okay? Now, I do know that this angle J is the same as this angle K, J right here because they're reflexive properties. Similarly, this angle equals this angle. So let's mark those right there. All right, so this is what the triangle should have, a blue angle, two red angles, and a right angle. So here's two red angles, so this must be my blue angle. This must be my two red uh, arcs right there, okay? So now we can set up a similarity, J, M, L. I went from blue to right to red, so I gotta go blue to right to red, so L, M, K, so that's what would go here. And then I gotta go from blue to right to red, so J, L, K, okay? So there's similarity statement with three triangles. All right, find the geometric mean between the pair of numbers. So geometric mean, that means put X in the bottom left and top right. And we're going to put the 1 fourth here and the 16 in here and the 3 here and the 75 here. And then cross multiply. Okay, so those are both perfect squares, so we get those right there. All right, so find each, find X, okay? So X is a geometric mean, bottom left, top right, between the two pieces of the hypotenuse, 15 and 6. Cross multiply, so 90 is uh, 9 times 10. Here's my 9 times 10, so it's a pair of 3's come out, 3 root 10, okay? Now, here's Y. Now, this is a leg. This leg is also a geometric mean, but we need the whole hypotenuse in here, which is 21, so it's a geometric mean, between um, the 21 and the piece of the hypotenuse it touches, which is right there. Almost done, you guys. I got the door locked. So anyway, so cross multiply. 21 is 3 times 7. 15 is 3 times 5. So we get uh, 3 root uh, 35. Okay, last one. Okay, Z. Z is the geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse and the piece it touches here, which is 6. Okay, so that's what goes there. Okay, 21 is 3 times 7. 6 is 2 times 3. So a pair of 3's come out. We get 3 root 14. 
All right, again, I so apologize, but if you're in my class, that would be your assignment. I got kiddos coming in, so that's why I'm in a rush. Sorry.